out everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to Fitness Friday. We're going to be doing a work along with me kind of workout, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Today we are going to be doing some workouts to focus primarily on arms and back with a little bit of shoulders. Um, so there's going to be a total of five workouts. The way it'll work is we'll do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for four sets for each workout. There's a total of five. And then uh, we'll have a minute break in between so I can show you the next workout. The first one, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves elevated. So you're gonna be using either a bench, you can use, I'm gonna use my stability ball, uh, something like that. Um, I am gonna be using a couple of kettlebells and light dumbbells for this workout. However, feel free to substitute with whatever you have available. Uh, gallon jugs are great. Um, there's a lot of different things. You can use backpacks, put cans in them. But the first thing we're gonna do is get into position. And we're going to start with 45 seconds on, and this is going to be a lateral um, pullover with a 10-pound kettlebell. So 45 seconds on. Now when you're doing anything on a stability ball, the additional benefit is that you're going to have the chance to stabilize and really work on that core. So I'm kind of doing a, a press up and then stabilizing my core, and I'm going to be doing this for 45 seconds. use that mind to muscle connection and focus on activating those laterals and keep that core nice and tight. And again, for this, you can use anything. I'm using a 10 pound weight, so you can use anything that you feel that's going to give you the weight that you need. So we're on our 15 second break. Once the timer goes off, we'll get right back into it for another 45 seconds. And here we go. Keep that core tight. Activate those lats. And make sure you're using whatever weight that you're comfortable with. Don't try to overwork yourself. Steady movements. Make sure you're maintaining control. 15 second break. Tighten it back up. Another 45 seconds. Keep it up. We only got one more set after this. Just get the upper back and shoulders supported by the ball as you do these raises. So now 
next, I'm gonna go ahead and take some 10 pound weights. And again, use whatever weight that you're comfortable with. We're gonna take our minute break and then we are gonna get into bent over rows. So bent over rows, you wanna keep your so pretty much parallel to the floor, arms down. Always keep those lats and shoulders pulled back and activated and down away from your ears when you're doing these. So you're gonna go start here and you're gonna kind of twist when you pull up and I want you to pull straight into a row like this. So again, make sure you're keeping your face towards the floor. So you wanna be looking at the floor and you're gonna pull straight up like this. So same thing, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off in eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 45 seconds. And with these, this is a back workout. It is not an arm workout. So you want to make sure you're really feeling those shoulder blades pull together. And again, a lot of working out is mind muscle activation. So that means you really want to focus on those muscles squeezing that back tight. And focus on feeling those muscles do all the work. And again, use whatever weight you're comfortable with. Laundry them, detergent, the big bottles are great. And again, you can just use old jugs and fill them up with water. That's what I used to do. Cans work well, canned food in a backpack, Anything like that. Don't let not having equipment be an excuse for you not to work out. Alright, back into it. So again, make sure those shoulder blades are pulled back. Shoulders are pushed down away from your ears. And you're just going to rotate up. And make sure you're controlling those movements, especially as you come down. It's really going to help activate those back muscles. Keep that core tight. Alright guys, 15 seconds off. And you want to make sure you're not taking more than 15 seconds or so in between because you really want to keep that heart rate up. That's, gonna, that's what's going to help with burning more calories. Two, one, back into it. Our last set. All right, last set, guys. Come on, let's get through it. 45 seconds. Make sure you're keeping those lats activated. Feel those shoulders pulling together. Shoulders down, away from your ears. You're keeping that control as you pull up and as you come back down. Keep that core tight, 15 seconds. Great job. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into a one minute break. I'm gonna go ahead and take those same uh, 10 pound dumbbells and I'm gonna go ahead and do some bicep curls. So this should be really, really simple. Go ahead and take your break, relax, catch your breath just a bit. You wanna keep that heart rate up. And by the way, if you feel good after 45 seconds, 30 seconds, 
Get right into the next workout. You really don't want your heart rate going down too much. We're gonna go straight into, like I said, bicep curls. In 12, 11, 10, nine. And with these, same thing as you're coming up, you wanna have controlled movement. Don't let your, little, your arms go all the way down. You don't wanna lock your elbows. You wanna keep that resistance as you're doing those curls. So 45 seconds. Keep resistance. Focus on feeling the muscles activated in your biceps. Whenever you're doing exercises while you're standing up, always try to keep a little bit of a bend in the knee. It's not good for the knees if you lock them as you do standing up workouts. And again, substitute with whatever items you have around the house that can give you a little bit of weight. You can even do one arm at a time if you like. Um, but again, don't let not having weights be an excuse for you to not work out. And also, I have wrist problems and shoulder problems. The only way to get better is to work it out. So if you have problems, as long as your doctor said it's okay, try to get some workouts in with it, because that has been what's helped me with all of my major shoulder in injuries, is actually working it out, getting the muscles around those areas stronger. you're a little burnt out after your sets. If you're not, then you're not using enough weight. And if you really want to lean up and gain more muscle and lose fat, you want to make sure that you are using enough weight. Weight training is the absolute best way to get in shape. Cardio alone just doesn't cut it. and I'm going to be doing that with the 10 pound weights as well. Catch that breath guys. Breath. Catch that breath. Catch that breath. 
catch that breath. <laughs> 20 seconds. Whew. Yeah, and I've been out of it for a while. You guys will see, I'm coming back. I'm gonna get in better shape. We're gonna get back to our fitness videos. You know, but we're gonna start small. So this is a dead curl press. This is basically going to be a dead curl into a bicep, into a press, and then into an overhead tricep. So it's a little difficult, practice form, wide stance. So you're basically doing a dead lift up to a bicep curl. I want you to go straight into a press and then bring them back for a tricep. And again, down. So dead lift up, bicep, press, tricep, down. Dead lift up, bicep curl, press, tricep, deadlift, bicep, press, tricep, one more, deadlift, bicep, press, finish it, tricep, all right, catch that breath, and these types of ones are good for finisher workouts, so again, Dead lift up, bicep, press, tricep. 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 One more, up, fifteen seconds, guys. All right, into it again. Make sure once you're getting up from your deadlift that you're not locking those knees. Make sure to always keep a slight bend in the knees. It's going to help prevent injuries. Just have enough time for two more. One. One more. All right, guys. 15 second break, and we got one more of those to go. Guys, deadlift, bicep, press, tricep, deadlift up, bicep, chest, tricep. Just realized I said chest, press, <laughs> Tricep, we should have enough time for two more. Deadlift. One more, guys. Last one. Bicep. Press. Tricep. Woo! All right, the next one we're getting into is a super fun one that's a little bit more full body. For this, I'm gonna be taking my, oh, what is this, 20 pound, 20 pound kettlebell. It's a little big for 20 pounds, but that's okay. And once our break is over, we're gonna be doing goblet squats, where we take the weight, you're gonna hold it kind of against your chest. You don't wanna support it on your chest. You wanna kind of hold it a little bit away, but right around chest, chin area. You're gonna take a wide stance, and you're gonna go into a full squat and up. Full squat and up. And these are called goblet squats. So 20 seconds, four sets of those, and then we're done, guys. So let's tough it out. Last set of workouts. And this is gonna help 
with back and chest and full body and make sure you're activating the core when you get into these. But like this, wide stance, keep it about here and down. Up. 45 seconds. And one of the benefits to goblet squats is it really is going to help you keep that upright stance as you're squatting. Control squats. And don't go all the way down. Make sure you have a little resistance here. Don't bring yourself all the way down. Keep resistance. 15 second break. Three more sets. Alright, back into it. Wide stance, controlled squat. Keep that core tight, keep that back straight. And as you come up, you kind of want a pelvic thrust. Squeeze those butt cheeks tight. To help build that booty. Ten seconds. Ooh. You can tell I haven't worked out enough lately. Don't give up. I'm not. Keep that heart rate up. 45 seconds. Here we go. sweaty. I probably look like a cherry. Don't make fun of me. Um, but yeah, so that is a 20, about 25 minute um, back, shoulder, and arm workout with a little bit of other muscle activation. I highly recommend that you take the time when you're doing your workouts to try to activate the full body as much as possible. Um, it's just super beneficial and always try to get some extra cardio in even if it's just fast paced walking. And the big, big thing with fitness is to just be consistent. Even if you don't feel like getting a full weighted workout in or doing anything crazy, try to get up and be active at least 20, 30 minutes a day. It'll make a huge, huge difference in your fitness goals. With that being said, guys, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content, uh, ring that bell and you'll get notified of my upcoming uploads. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.